Hello, my name is Alec Kovaleski. I'm an associate professor at Oregon State University in the Department of Horticulture. And I'm one of three instructors that you'll have for pesticide applicator education and safety. The intention of this short presentation here is to give you a quick overview of the course objectives and then talk about uh, the various lectures and material have presented throughout the next six weeks and then we'll cover finally how we plan to assess your educational development uh, during this six week period. Okay, so our objective for pesticide applicator training is to prepare you for the Oregon Department of Agriculture pesticide applicators licensing exams, okay? Our focus is gonna be on the laws and safety section, which is a requirement for most pesticide applicators and we'll be using examples specific to the turf and ornamental categories and examples that are specific to the Pacific Northwest. Okay, so that's our overview objective for the next six weeks. Uh, as we break down how we are gonna present this, we've got the course divvied up into two major sections, weeks one, two, and three, which I'll be covering, and then weeks four, five, and six, which will be covered by Alyssa Kane. So my weeks will include the following material here. In week one, I will have lectures on laws and regulations. Uh, I'll start in on safety and handling part one. And then in week two, we'll come back and have lectures on safety and handling part two. And a lecture on environmental concerns associated with pesticide applications. Then in week three, I'll come back and do uh, pesticide calculation and uh, calibration examples related to herbicide applications for control of common dandelion. And then next, I will come back in our second, le second lecture for week two and cover uh, fungicide calculations for control of microdotium patch. So that'll be parts one and two of week three. So that'll be the material that you receive from me, weeks one, two, and three, for a total of six lectures. So next, in weeks four, five, and six, you're gonna have a change in speakers here. So during week four, You'll have uh, your speaker being Dr. Chaz Schmid, who is a research associate here at Oregon State University. Dr. Schmid will be covering calibrations and calculations, part three, which will be dry pesticide formulations. And then he will also be doing a lecture on calibrations and calculations, part four, with examples from liquid pesticide calculations. Okay, then in weeks five and six, you'll have your final speaker or teacher for this class. You'll have Alyssa Kane. Uh, Alyssa received her master's degree at Oregon State University and is now a turf production manager at Baron Brug USA. And Alyssa will be covering in week five, pesticide characteristics and label comprehension. Then in week six, Alyssa will be covering integrated pest management and common turf problems in the Northwest. So again, in week four, you'll have your speaker being Dr. Chez Schmid. And then in weeks five and six, your speaker will be Alyssa Kane. So this course is broken down into uh, six weeks. You have two lectures and two exams per each week for a total of 12 lectures and 12 exams. Each is, exam is gonna be five questions worth one point each. So the 12 exams times the five questions or uh, five points each totals out to 60 points throughout the six, week, six weeks of this class. Uh, all of the uh, material is available the first day of class and is due the last day of class. So you can do it as fast or as slow as you want over the next six weeks. There's no time limit on any of the exams and you can do unlimited attempts on all of the exams as well. So ideally, if you don't get 100% on your first attempt, you will continue to take the exam till you get 100% on it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> 
42 out of 60 points, so 70% is required to pass the course. And anybody who passes the course by getting 70% or higher will get a certificate uh, that they have completed the course. <clears throat> so just a reminder here, our objective is to prepare you for the Oregon Department of Agriculture applicators license exams with a focus on the laws and safety section using turf and ornamental category examples. Unfortunately, we cannot make the testing exams for the Oregon Department of Agriculture part of this course. You have to go on after this and uh, schedule that and take the testing by yourself. So in the Canvas uh, um, modules here associated with the course, I have a link to this Oregon Pesticide Licensing Guide. Inside that licensing guide, you will find um, pesticide testing areas near you that you can contact. And then there's also information on licensing fees associated with those. Okay, so you'll find information in the Oregon Pesticide Licensing Guide on how to complete your Oregon Department of Agriculture testing after you're done taking the course. So again, our goal here is to prepare you for this testing and then hopefully you can pass it after attending this course, okay? All right, so that concludes our quick introductory lecture on pesticide applicator training. I look forward to working, for it, working with you for the next six weeks and uh, teaching you more about pesticide applicators, teaching you more about pesticide application and how it relates to turf grass management in the state of Oregon. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.